All right, for those of you that are in the swing breakdown space, this is going to be a lot of fun now. Remember what, what Justin Thomas does in his backswing is he makes that mock backswing where the club at parallel to the ground is on the toe line. Let's see how he does when this club goes into full motion. That's sort of a weak shaft plane line that I've drawn, but run this back and watch and see when he stops right in here. Yeah, you could see his hands went right through. I mean, the club went right through his hand line, which means it's dead on the plane in the backswing. Now he's starting to elevate that club as it gets up to the top. So we'll wheel it up to the top and stop. Justin is a, a very high arm player. You can see how you can see some of that shoulder right there. And notice how the club face in this position here is parallel to the forearm. That's one thing that tells you from that position, you can pretty much do whatever you want. You want to draw it or fade it. Justin obviously trying to make sure that he doesn't get this to go to the left. Now when he starts to come down, the little idiosyncrasies of Justin. He kind of rotates the body. The, look at how high his heel is off the ground. That's something that Tiger used to do early in his swing. He does not do that now, and maybe one of the reasons why he struggles a little bit with getting that club underneath. Justin right on top of it, and then he dips into a lot of side bend. So when, when you're swinging a golf club, you're going to have a forward bend. That's when you're kind of bowing almost, where your shoulders are moving parallel to the hips and then down towards the ground. Side bend is when your right shoulder goes to your right hip or your left shoulder goes to the left hip. Justin Thomas has as much side bend in a golf swing as anybody on the PGA Tour, and something, quite frankly, BK, that I worry about with his longevity because that type of movement in the body will over time create some real problems with, with a hip.